Uh, welcome to the next part of the Souls RNG remake. Well, kinda. Um, so today, uh, the plan is to add animations and sounds to our auras. And maybe I will show you in depth how you can, um, well, create an aura again. Because I explained it kinda, um, kinda well. Uh, a bit complicated last time. Yeah, last time we, um, made a function to create auras, like you see, and to unequip them. We also made our own test aura. So, uh, to get started, um, the first thing actually that we need to do is, uh, wait, let me check on my list. Um, yeah, we need to actually create the animations config. So for that, uh, you are going to create a new uh, module script inside a replicated storage. And I'm going to just call it animations config. So, um, yeah. Um, that's the first thing we're going to create. And basically, uh, like last time, just rename it here. So now in this table here, um, we're gonna utilize this table. And you see in our auras folder, we have two different things. So basically when you want to add a animation to an aura, uh, you basically just have to put the name here. So just for instance, Aegis, um, and then just uh, is equal to, and then just the animation ID. So I have mine already ready. So you just have to, well, just paste the animation ID there. Uh, just make also sure that you are the owner of this animation. Otherwise, it's not going to work because of the Roblox animation permission update. Something. Yeah, so I have mine, mine here. And I'm going to just use another one for my test aura. So just comma. Make sure you get the comma. Then test aura is equal to this one. So. Uh, then you can already close this here because you don't need it anymore. Um, and yeah, the next thing we are going to do is in the server script, which you can find inside the server script service. Um, yeah, we have to utilize this module. So we have to replicate the storage already. So the next thing we are going to do is above here, you can literally put it anywhere. It's just put the animations config. Oh, wait. It's the wrong thing. Animations config is equal to require replicated storage dot animations config. Um, animations config here. Uh, so then, uh, we gonna utilize this uh here in our equip in our uh, character edit function. So when the character is added, we gonna set the animator. Um, the animator, I can show you, um, this is what controls all animations in a character. So in workspace, you see my humanoid has an animator in it. And now we have to find, uh, so uh, set this animator. Uh, well, close my script. Um, so the way we're going to do this is just local animator is equal to character wait for child. And then humanoid, and then dot animator. So that's how we get the animator. And then we're gonna create a loop. Um, you see, we have all our um, animation IDs here. And the thing we are going to do is just preload every single animation so that it does not have to load the animation when you first equip the aura. It's very good. Um, so for name comma ID, because we have a name and the ID there in pairs, because it's a table animations config, we do local animation, Adam is equal to instance dot new animation. Um, and then we're going to set the animation ID. So Adam dot animation ID. It's equal to rbx asset asset id and then um, 
like this. Uh, and then uh, two string uh, DID. So yeah, that's gonna set this one. Then we have the local animation track, which is basically just the animation track. Then we're gonna use the animator to load, load our animation. Uh, yeah, the animation. So that's how we um, just preload every single animation uh, there is to make it uh, load less. So yeah, that was everything for the server. And then in the aura handler, oh uh, wait, I can quickly also show you that it works. So here we can just put a print statement here. Uh, print loaded animation. And then uh, just put the name here. So if you go to play now, uh, get, check our output, you can see that here tests are loaded and AE just loaded. So that works just fine. Um, if you want, you can leave this here. I'm just going to delete it to make it less confusing in the output. Uh, but yeah, the next thing we're going to use is an aura, aura handle handler. Um, because yeah, obviously we have to, we have to, um, use the animation stack. So basically just, uh, require the module again. Um, yeah. And then we are going to firstly write a, write actually two functions. The first one is local function as animation. And then we need the, uh, aura name of course. Our name. So that's the first function. And the second function is uh, just called animation. And this will need the player, the character, and the aura again. So those are the, th the two functions we're going to need. Uh, so in the first function, we actually just put, um, I'll just write what I write. I will just like make it up just like that. I don't know. Uh, so yeah. Um, well, I will continue, but I'm gonna just explain what I've done till now. Uh, so. Basically, this function just checks if the aura has an animation. So we have aura animation config here, and you're going to get to give this function the aura name. So basically, just aura aura dot name. Uh, so in your um, well here, there's just the the names of of it. Um, so yeah. Um, that's basically. It for this one. Um, let me just see. Um, yeah, looks good. Looks good. Yeah. So, uh, and then, if uh, the aura name is found inside this table here, it's gonna return the ID. And if not, it's just gonna return false. And here we're gonna check if it has a result. So if the result is true. Then we're gonna check if we have a humanoid and if you have an animator. If you do not have an animator, we're just gonna create one. But yeah, I'm gonna just continue writing the rest of the function. Um, okay, so uh, that's all for now. Then we just have to create another table, which is called local active, active animations. And it's gonna, going to be a table. So then we're going to check if there is a animation playing. So if not active animations, then we're going to check for the player that use ID user id then 
active animations and player dot user id is just going to be table so i'm done we're just gonna uh set this player dot user id and in that we're gonna check for the aura dot name and we're gonna bind that to the animation track so yeah um that's basically it yeah that's the whole function we need for now so now we need to write it for the equip function like yesterday we just um made the animation the sound here but yeah we basically do not have to do much we just have to basically call the two functions uh well one function is the animation so animation and then we're gonna pass through the player the character and the and a table of the name which is equal to aura dot name so that's all we pass through for now done for the unequal function we are just uh, clearing out the table uh so basically i'm just going to paste it in and then tell you what it does so if we find a active animation for our user id then we're just gonna stop the track and set our our thing to null so that we can equip another aura um animation I mean. so um it should work basically um yeah it should basically work um let me just republish both of these ids to make sure that i um have them so submit well wait did i publish it on the my name yeah I, I did i did so copy the id again paste it in copy this id paste it in convert it ID. Perfect. So now we have both of our IDs. Um, you can create your animations yourself. Um, so yeah. Um, for animation tutorials, I'm not the best. Well, the best um, a guide to to show you how because I suck at making animations. But so I hope I did not mess up anything. And we hope it's just going to work. Um, so okay, we have we have an error. Uh, why does it not play the animation? Also, what is what is going on with my? It's not playing any animations why isn't it that's my question let's just try to re reload so it's not loading any animations is it it's not um why why i'm wondering why let me see so we have the animation and we are playing this animation right here and we are calling the animation here um i'm wondering why it does not work um let me just check if we missed something um let me 
me just paste it in there. Also, let me zoom in a bit. Why can't I zoom in? Oh, yeah, okay. Let me just paste this in. So this is the complete function here. Um, I mean, it should basically work. I'm just wondering why it does not. It does not work. So it's telling me that the E just has an animation. I'm just wondering why it does not work. Oh, I know why. Um, because I did not save my game last time. So I know that you can't see it, but um, well, I can show you, I guess. Yeah. So my game is not saved to Roblox. So I'm just going to update an existing game. Update this one here. All right. So, because I did not uh, publish it. Uh, so make sure your avatar is set to R6 for it to work probably. Uh, so yeah, that should work now, I guess. Uh, problem fixed. So it should work and it does. It does. We have our animation, as you can see. We can also, when we unequip the aura, it just gets this right. And also, it works for our test animation. Yeah, pretty, pretty cool. But what's an aura without a sound, you know? Like, so we're just gonna add sounds now to our auras. So, like last time, the first thing we're going to do is actually write a config file for our sounds. Uh, so we're gonna create another remote uh, uh, module script. I mean, in replicated storage, and just call it sounds config. So basically, uh, just well, put the name in again. Yeah. So this table is gonna be a bit different than the last one. See, in the last one, we just put the name and the uh, ID. Now it's gonna be a bit different. Because we are going to use the same ID, uh, not the same, like, we're going to use the first thing. So we just put the name of the aura here, but then we set it equal to a table. And in that table, we have three things. First, the sound ID. I'm just going to put it to zero. The volume. I'm just going to put it to one. And uh, the distance. I'm just going to put it to 50. So that's the format we want to use. So I'm also going to put this for the test aura. Oh no, I'm, I'm going to leave it out for the test aura. Um, also, if your aura isn't supposed to have an animation, you just do not add it here. The script is going to work because it's made for checking if it has an animation. So for example, if I just if I just uh, comment this out, uh, go back on the game and equip my aura, it's just going to work without the animation, as you can see. So no worries if you can't use uh, or if you do not have an animation. Uh, it's just going to work. Also, let me zoom in again. Uh, so yeah, that's good. So uh, done in all sounds config. Yeah, I'm going to just paste my sound in again. I hope it's going to work. Uh, yeah. So, uh, sound ID just basically put any sound ID in. Uh, you can find sound IDs online or in the toolbox, or you can up upload your own sounds. Uh, but it's kind of hard to to find working sounds in the toolbox now because um, of Roblox's new like update to like fix copyright and stuff. Um, because well, you can't like use any auras now because it has to be in your inventory. So yeah, it's kind of it's a bit uh bit weird. But, yeah, let's see if this works. Oh uh, wait, we we can we can try if it works. Uh, you can try if something works. Just create a sound and just try putting in the sound ID. If it works like this, and in your output there's nothing bad, it works. But if you get like a message that this 
uh, ID cannot be loaded, it's not going to work. But yeah, that's a method that you can check. Uh, so yeah, that's everything for sounds config. So now we're gonna write the next function for our um, well, for our uh, yeah, sounds config. Uh, for our, uh, I mean, uh, our handle. So the next function, you can just basically copy the has animation function and paste it in again, and then we're gonna call it has sounds. We still need the RNA. So then we're gonna delete this here. Uh, also, you have to require the sounds config. So just uh, require it here. So then, uh, you can also copy this here and also paste it into the server script because we also will need it there later. So, and the has sound functions, it's gonna be a bit different than the last one. I'm gonna just paste it and explain you what it does. So, uh, this is the complete uh, thing. Um, let me just copy this, paste it in, paste it in, paste it in. And yeah. I have all my scripts like prepared in a different game, so it's just easier for me to showcase. Um, so what this does is it is checking if there is a if there is something uh, found in the uh, sounds config with the aura's name, and it is not nil. So if there is something found, then it's gonna set the sound ID, the volume, and the distance to basically those three values. So sound ID, volume, and distance. So yeah, that's all it does, and then it's gonna return all these things. So yeah, um, then we need to write a, another uh, function. And you can write that right below the animation function. We're just gonna call it local function. We're just gonna call it sound. And we need the player, the character, and the aura. So, then we can write this code here. So this is just gonna get us the uh, result, the sound ID, the volume, and the distance from this function right here. So, uh, if result done, and now we actually need to do something in our server script uh, first, uh, because we need to create a value for our sound that is going to be played in our character. So just head over to the server script and in there we are going to um, well basically create a aura sound. So basically the local aura sound aura sound is equal to instance.new sound. Uh, and it's going to be located in character, wait for child, humanoid, root path. And spelled here. Make sure you spell that right. So then we're gonna put all the different values like our sounds. I'm gonna copy this one. Dot name is equal to our sounds. Then the our sounds dot Roll of max distance, it's going to be one. Uh, aura sounds dot roll of min or oh, uh, that's supposed to be min distance. The max distance should be zero for now. Aura sound dot loot, it's going to be true. And the aura sound dot volume is also going to be zero for now. And aura sound dot time position is also going to be zero. So that's everything we need. So now in our game we can we can also see the uh, changes. So if you check in our workspace, in our player, then in the humanoid root path, we're going to see a aura sound that has been created. So because we are going to use this sound to basically um well listen to the sounds. Uh, so done. Um, yeah, back in the aura handler, 
in this function here. We are going to actually utilize this value now. So, um, basically, the sound instance is character find this child human group part find this child aura sound. So then, if not aura sound, if not sound instance, I mean, sound instance or not sound instance is a sound then uh, return at so yeah if it is uh so if it isn't a sound uh, it's just going to return the script so then we're just going to set all these values to uh, what we need so the basically all the values we set here we're just going to change so the sound id is going to be in the actual sound id of the sound the role of max distance which is just like how far the sound reaches it's just going to be the distance the volume is the volume and it's going to set the plane to true uh so yeah that's everything for the sound function and now we just need to call it in our equip function and our unequip function it's very easy now equip function just put sound and then player character uh, character and then the name again so name is equal to aura dot name so then for our unequal function it's going to be a bit different so we first have to get the sound instance again uh, so you can just copy this line uh, and paste it in again um just gonna put it here so sound instance if sound instance then sound instance dot sound id is going to be just nothing basically the sound instance dot roll of max distance is going to be zero and the sound ID, uh, sound instance, uh, the volume is also going to be zero again. And that's basically everything we need for the sound work. So we can just play test it again. I hope I did not mess up anything. We're just going to enable the sounds. I hope you can hear it. Let me check. Yeah, you do. So if we equip an aura now, I hope you can hear it. All right, make it a bit louder. Yeah. It has the sound now. If we zoom out, it's not there. If we zoom in, it's back. And it also gets stopped. Um, something we realize now is that listen to the sound. When you when we unequip it and play it again it's just going to continue there so uh how we can fix this is very easy actually we just get into the aura handler and the unequip function and we're just gonna put the sound instance dot time position to zero and that's how we fix it um this is optional So now it's going to start again every time. Yeah. For every hour. So this has no sound, so it's just going to be blank. Yeah. This is going to be the um, sound. So yeah, I think that was everything for today's video. In the next video, we are going over the rolling system. Uh, not the inventory yet, but just the rolling system. Um, and yeah, I hope you liked today's video. Uh, we got quite a lot done. Um, next video will be next week though. Uh, because uh, yeah, I have no time for the next few days. So um, 
Yeah, it's just going to be next week. Probably. Uh, I'll also have my Discord server by then. So, uh, yeah. Um, also, some people asked for a RBX file. Um, and I think it's not worth just copying and pasting in the file. Because you're not going to learn anything from those files. By just pasting in the stuff. Uh, well, maybe I will I will leave them on my Discord. Um, yeah. Uh, but just like the from the past episode. So I'm, I'm not going to leave on the, the newest file. So just like one version old, you know. So it's worth just uh, writing it. And yeah, also in the next episode, if you want, you can you can leave a comment uh, telling me if you want that. Uh, I'm going to make an in-depth guide on how to maybe like make the star here move or make something move in your aura genre. Uh, so yeah. Um, but yeah, that was everything for today and see you in the next one.